Good evening. I want to welcome you once again to Shaping Your Destiny with Charismatic Impact for Christ Ministry. I'm your host, Reverend Eric McWilliams, the head pastor of Charismatic Impact for Christ Ministry. And today we are here to bring a special blessing to someone. I don't know who you are. I don't know what is you're going through, but God has given us a word to deliver to you. And there is a word in season that must change your paradigm and change the situation you're in and bring you out of that situation. Because without a word from God, you will not be able to come out of where you are. And I thank God that God is going to speak in this house from the faith studio right into your house. And I want to make sure that those of you who are watching us um, from all over the world, we bring you greetings from London, England, and we want to say God bless you, and we hope everything will, is going well with you in this time and in this season. For those of you who are going through some issues and problems and wondering where has God forsaken you, this is a word of encouragement for you. God has not forsaken you. And God is going to do everything he has said concerning you. So be of good cheer. It's going to be well with you. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. He is faithful. And he's definitely going to do those things that he has said concerning you. I want you to do me one good favor. And that is, I want you to make sure that you call someone and tell them that Reverend Eric McWilliams is on the uh, on the air right now and they can tune in from wherever they are even if they've got internet access on their uh, mobile devices or tablets they will be able to tune in easily by going to the website and typing in www.faithworldtv faithworldtv.com www.faithworldtv.com and when they get to the faith world website there will be a place where you click, they will see a play button that you can click right on your screen and it will bring you live into the broadcast and you can, they can hear me from wherever they are. So if they are not at home and they are by a computer or by some, uh, their mobile phone or somewhere, they can easily tune in and hear what God is about to say from London here. Greetings again to all of you that's watching us from the rest of the world. We, are, we do hear from you and we are praying for you and we're concerned about the things that is going on in your life and we're trusting that God will definitely uh, come through for you and break through for you so that you will also have a smile and know that your God is good to you. There are some details on our screen, the mobile phone numbers, they are there so that you can call in because I have my assistants that are waiting to take your call right so that right after this I finish the broadcast, I'll be able to come in and speak to you. Most of the time, I don't take calls during the broadcast because I want to have uh, enough time to minister the Word of God so that after the Word of God, we can deal with the prayers that need to be dealt with. So make sure that you call me on the telephone numbers so that we can deal with you when it's got to do with prayer because most of you are calling in and God is doing some great things as I pray for the people that are receiving prayer. Some are receiving breakthroughs and, and receiving God doing some things in their life. So make sure you do call me because as we pray, God moves and God does some things in the lives of people that call. So make sure you do so. And if you want to meet me for counseling and all of that, we will, as you call my assistants, they will help you with all, whatever information you need in the name of Jesus. Well, I want you to turn your Bibles, if you got your Bibles, to Matthew chapter 26. We're going to be reading from verse 20. Matthew chapter 26 from verse 20. Matthew chapter 26 from verse 20. And we will see God do significant things in your life. Today I'm going to be dealing with the necessity of Judas. The necessity of Judas. I'm going to repeat it again. The necessity of Judas. Why Judas is important in your life. Some of us must have Judas and why he will be important in your life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us, your people, as we have a, grant us an ear to hear your word, release your word and power, 
Grant that the anointing that breaks the yoke of the enemy so that your people will move from one level to the other. Let your word come forth with power. Let confidence and assurance come in the heart of someone. Let someone be consoled as they hear your word. Uplift someone in the name of Jesus. Bless the one that is hearing in the mighty name of Jesus. This I decree and pray in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter number 26 from verse 20. Now when evening came, Jesus reclined at the table with the twelve disciples. As they were eating, he said, Truly, I say to you that one of you will betray me. Being deeply grieved, they each one began to say to him, Surely not I, Lord. And he answered, He who dips his hand with me in the bowl is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man is going, just as it is written of him, but woe to the man who the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be, have been better for that man if he had not been born. And Judas, who was betraying him, said, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. Jesus said to him, You have said it yourself. Amen. I want to, God has given me a word to give to someone because some people are going through some things in their life and it has caused a whole lot of problems and issues to come their way and they're wondering where God is and whether God has forsaken them and they don't really understand what is going on in their life and some people are even wondering whether they should Continuing, continue following God or they, they, they should look for some better alternative. But I want to say to you, hold on and don't go nowhere and don't look for no alternative. God is true and he is real. There is in life that there is the necessity of having some Judas in life because Judas are people that have been positioned in our lives in order to bring us to the place that God wants us to be. So without Judas being in our lives, we are not going to be rightly positioned in the places that God wants us to be. There are times that God must allow these things to happen to someone, must uh, allow these things to happen to you in order to move you from where you are to where you must be. And so when these things start happening to you, as painful as it is to be betrayed as you have been betrayed, to be let down as you've been let down, with everything crumbling around you, without much understanding, I want to assure you in the mighty name of Jesus, that it is necessary for these things to happen. The Bible says that it was written of Jesus that he must encounter the things that happened to him. In other words, he must go through the cross. And it was necessary that he goes through the cross because without no cross, there is no power. In other words, without going through some kind of pain in your life, there is no power. In other words, how can you really testify of the goodness of God if everything around you is wonderful? If you are living in a life of a paradise experience, how can you say God is awesome or God is good if everything is okay? In fact, the test of who God is in our lives is when things go contrary to what we have expected or contrary to prophecy of our lives or contrary to, to the direction that we were going. If things were just okay, we won't be able to testify. How can you say God is a healer if you've never been sick? He is a healer to the one who is sick. How can you say he's a provider if you have never had a need? 
When you, how would you know he's faithful to providing for you? How do you know he's faithful as a healer if you've never been sick and you've never come into a need? The only way for you to really come to know that God is who he is in, all, uh, in his provision and in meeting our needs is in order for you to go through something in life. You can't really ask for a breakthrough or request for a breakthrough if there is no opposition. If there is nothing in front of you, if there is no enemies, how would you... Uh, Celebrate a victory if you're not going through anything. So you must go through some things in order for you to really testify of the goodness of your God. So if you are a person that is going through some things, I want you to be jubilant. I want you to be happy because you are the candidate to see God's blessing. There are some people that are not going through anything and as long as they're not going through anything, well, they can celebrate because they're not going through anything. But I thank God that you, as you are watching me, you are going through some things. It means that you are, you are in the right place to see or receive the power of God. The power of God is made perfect when we go through some things, when we go through some situations, when we go through some difficulties. You know that it is because of the difficulties you are going through that's why you are praying. It wasn't because of the good times that made you to pray. It is because of the things that went really sour, the things that went really wrong, the things that went going right, that forced you into the place of prayer so that you could see some victories that were lined up, the blessings that were held up. It was because of the difficult times that really released those kinds of blessings that were held up into your life. It was God cutting back some blessing in order to release unto you bountiful blessings. It is out of him taking the little that you had in order to release unto you the supply that he has for you. So if everything is going crazy around you, don't be too distressed. and Don't get out of yourself too much. God is about to come through and God is about to deliver you from wherever you you are just depend on him and he will do it. The Bible says that Jesus is the one that chose the 12 disciples and with the one of the 12 was the betrayer. One of the 12 is Judas. In other words, when God is assembling your life together and God is putting your life together, he is putting a Judas in your life. In other words, there will be a Judas somewhere in your life. Whether you like it or not, there will be a Judas somewhere in your life because they are necessary for where you are going. If you are someone that has a vision, if you are someone that has somewhere you are going, then you will definitely need the Judas. So whenever you ex discover a Judas, thank God because they are doing their job. Their job is to help you get to where you're going. Most of the time, you will not only get to where you're going with just good people. But you need some people who are really bad to, in order to get you to where you're going. Because if there were no witches that were trying you, you would not be praying like you were praying. Thank God for the witches in your family. Because if they were not the ones that were troubling you, you would not have need to pray. And you would not have known how good God is. And you would not know that there was a power that surpasses the power of witches if you were not going through the problems you're going through. So I want you to be rest assured that it does not matter what you go through as long as you lay hold on God and keep trusting in Jesus, he is able to bring you out of whatever it is you are going through. So be rest assured that it is going to be well with you and you are going to come out when it is due time and due season and you will see the goodness of the Lord in your life. Judas was appointed in the life of Jesus. He chose him, but he was not to manifest his betrayal in the first year of Jesus' life. He, he did not manifest his betrayal during the second year of his ministry. 
actually it was within the third year of his ministry coming to where his ministry must end on earth that was when Judas was to surface. In other words, Judas had a destined time to manifest. The Judases that appear in your life, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, it is destined. They, they have not just appeared. They will manifest in a specific time and in a specific season. They will just manifest. And when they manifest, it's because they have been allowed to manifest at that time. The enemy thinks he's going to use Judas to destroy you. But the mistake that the enemy is doing is that he's going to use Judas to position you where you must go. The Bible says Jesus had 11 other disciples that said to Jesus that we will not allow you to go through the cross. In other words, the good people may not allow you to suffer the things that you need to suffer in order for you to come into the blessing that you need to come into. In other words, hear this. There are times that you need to suffer a financial hardship. And the financial hardship that you are suffering is necessary to move you to the place where God will connect you to your financial blessing. But if all the good people around you, when they saw your financial struggle, came in and helped you, it wouldn't have positioned you in the place that you should be positioned. It was good that you should lose the job you lost so that you can really find the job that you should find. Or you should be relocated in the place that you should be relocated in order for you to receive the blessing. But the time you lost your job, you thought it was the end of you but it was the making of you when you were thrown out of the house you thought it was the end of you but you did not know it was the beginning to a better place than where you have been all along when you were uh, deported out of this country and you were sent back home you thought that it was the end of you and you could not believe after much prayer, after much fasting, and everything that they will still take you out of this country. Yeah, glory be to God, you are going. Because as you get to where they are sending you, you will discover that the best thing that ever happened to you was them deporting you out because it put you in the place that God had always wanted you to be. And it has positioned you where you must be positioned. The Bible says that, after, um, as, after Joseph receiving much blessing in the house of Potiphar, there, there arose a problem in the house of Potiphar that must take jo uh, Joseph into prison. It was in prison that he must learn a whole lot of things and come into his connection to the palace. His connection was not coming into Potiphar's house. His connection was coming into prison. So God must put Joseph in prison in order for him to meet his connection. Some of you, you have been blessed. It is well with you. You have been located in a good place and things are happening for you. But that God must stir up a certain problem, a certain an issue around to relocate you. So when those problems begin to stir up and those uh, situations come up, as horrible as it may be, as unlikable as it may be, it is positioning you where you must be. You only need to trust in God because God has got hold of you. The Bible says, and here they are at the table and they are eating with Jesus. The Passover, and they're getting ready, and Jesus is now revealing to them the secret of the Passover, and he's also telling them that his his blood has got to be shed, and he's got to his his body has got to be broken, and he's revealing all this revelation. In the midst of revealing all this revelation, Judas is also there, and Judas is hearing this, but the Bible says in the fullness of time, Jesus said that one of you is about to betray me. And it was so 
confusing because everybody there seemed to love Jesus. And so each person was asking themselves, Lord, is it I? How could I betray you? And, and, and Peter is asking, how can I betray you? John is asking, how could I betray you? Everyone is asking, how could I betray you? Including Judas, who will betray him, didn't know he will betray Jesus. It is that when everything was scheduled and done, a situation will arise. And the moment their situation arose, Judas felt in his heart that I don't like this. I don't want what's going on. And that's how the betrayal started. That's how the betrayal started. So there's a certain situation that must arise. And when the situation arises, your betrayers will come out. And when they come out, they will betray you. And when they betray you, it will be to your enemies so that your enemies can crucify you. It is needful for your enemies to be able to crucify you because when they crucify you, you are going to resurrect. And when you resurrect, you will come in with a power that no one knew you will have. And they didn't know that they will give birth to the greatest move of God that should ever happen in your life. Thank God for Judas because it wasn't Peter that set him up. It wasn't John that set him up. It wasn't Bartholomew that set him up. It wasn't James that set him up. It was Judas that set him up. It was Judas that said to him that I know where he is. I know that at this point in time, he goes to the garden to pray. So when we go to the garden, we will meet him there. It was Judas that exposed the secrets of Christ to his enemies. It is your betrayer that will expose your secrets. And when they expose your secrets, it will give your enemy an opportunity. And when it gives your enemy the opportunity, God will deliver. Because when your enemies strike you and they think they have been able to destroy you, they will see that they have not been able to destroy you. But what they did was they set you up. So I want you to be rest assured that if you are going through a betraying situation and some things have turned upside down in your life because somebody betrayed you, be rest assured, my brother, be rest assured, my sister, that it is well with you. Be rest Rest assured that he that called you, he that ordained you, he that purposed you, God himself has never left you. He is not the one that betrayed you, but he allowed the betrayer to betray you. And as long as the betrayer is doing his job, don't worry, God is also doing his job. He needed the betrayer to betray you in order for those things that he has for your life to materialize. The Bible says Potiphar's wife betrayed Joseph in such a way that Joseph could not understand why those things were happening to him. But he went into prison and in prison he met two people that were crucial in his life. Those two people were the ones that will send him one of them will experience the power of Joseph's prophecy, the power of him declaring a thing, the truth of his vision. It was out of those two people that the connections were made. I'm here to tell you that the betrayers are betraying you. And they've done that to you. But don't worry. Be rest assured. As they are doing this to you, God is about to release you. I want to pray for the one that is going through the issues and they think God has forsaken me because I have been betrayed. And all this calamity has come upon me. Be rest assured and know that it is going to be well with you. Let me pray with you. Father, I'm praying with the one that is connecting to this message because I know that there's someone watching me that needed to hear this from me so that they will know that no matter how much it is and no matter how painful it is, no and matter how the situation have gone upside down in their life, that you, God, are there for them. I pray for you and I pray that the strength of the Almighty will lift you up and cause you to stand and be rest assured that it is well with you, even in the darkest point of your life, when everything seems seem gloom and everything things seem destroyed, it is well with you and you are coming out in the name of Jesus. When the season is up, you will see God's faithfulness. Be blessed and be transformed and have strength 
to stand in this situation. It is going to be okay with you. Your betrayers have never won. You are the victor, in fact. And in the due course of time, you will see that you have won. I'm Reverend Eric McWilliams, and my time is up. Wow, my time is really up. But please call the telephone numbers that are on your screen, and my assistants will be there to help you. We'll take the details, and I'll call you right after. Or just call me within the next 10, 15 minutes, and then we will... I'll pray for you with whatever situation you're going through. We trust God that he will come through and do something awesome for you. I will be on your screens again next week, 7 o'clock, the right time, Monday, 7 o'clock. And I want to be speaking to someone. I know there's a word of God for somebody. I said to you today, it is necessary for Judas to be in your life. The necessity of Judas to betray you. Don't worry, if you're going through betrayal, you have been set up for a blessing of God. Your friend that's released all your secret has actually set you up for glory from God that they didn't know that God was about to give you. God is blessing you. Don't take your eye off the ball. It's going to be well. Reverend Eric McWilliams, God bless you.